Hello everyone and welcome to my final impressions of patch 1.8 after my two live streams. First, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Tailworld Developers Duh, Cohort, and Sad Shogun for stopping by the streams and taking the opportunity to answer questions from the community. It is greatly appreciated. So I'm going to keep this short, simple, sweet, and to the point so it doesn't take too long. And I'm just going to give you the bullet points and not everything that's contained in the patch so you know what to expect. Starting off with the economy. The economy is vastly different from 1.7.2 where there was too much stuff. Now there's not enough. So at the beginning of your games, it is going to be very high priced until it does start to stabilize around day 150 to 200 and then by 300 it is a bit better but things are still extremely expensive this was done by the developers to try to curb the overall global prosperity as prosperity was out of control with towns such as sanala reaching 10,000 prosperity very quickly so that is why that change was made Quest rewards were also lowered a bit across the board. So you are definitely going to notice a difference with that. Crafting was also changed in which now you only are able to get a crafting part when you smelt or smith an item of that type. So to get two-handed parts, you have to smelt or smith two-handed parts. To get pole arms, you have to smelt or smith pole arms. So you are going to need to smelt and smith every different type of item to be able to unlock them all. That's going to take a while. As of this recording, there is still the bug in which if you save the game and reload it, you will lose most all of your parts. So I would advise against smithing if you want to be able to keep those parts. This counts even for upgrades from older saves as you are going to lose all those parts. So be careful on upgrading your saves. If you've unlocked everything and you upgrade, you're gonna lose it. Death is on. You need to, from the start of the game where it says the news and mods, you need to hit the mods button and turn on death from there. From inside the game, there are multiple options you can choose from only your companions, to you being dying just from old age to death in battle. I did get confirmation from the developers on this. The death rate for characters and companion members and family is now 2%, just like it is for all the other lords. This is also affected by your medicine skill, which plays a big role of making it, I believe, down to 0.6% at 200 or 250 skill. However, the developers did say that your age and your armor also play a factor in that percentage. So as you grow older, it becomes easier to die in battle. And if you don't have as good of armor, there's also a better chance. So on the flip side, if you're younger with better armor, that number can be lowered. So that is an update on that. As far as cutscenes, there are many cutscenes that are going to be available and which I am not going to show because I'm sure some people would like to be surprised in seeing them. But trust me when I tell you, there are many, many cutscenes. For performance of the game, I did uh, quite a bit of testing and I have an i5 9th gen processor with an RTX 2060 video card. In big battles in 172, I was able to sustain about 35 frames per second in massive clumps in battle. In 1.8, that is increased to about 45 frames per second. That is a massive increase of approximately 30 to 35 percent increase for me. So there definitely is a massive increase in performance of the game. And I did not notice hardly any glitching or pausing whatsoever. So a great job done there. One issue with lords and prisoners. Lords are now not so much inclined to go drop off their prisoners into feasts. 
I'm not sure if that has to do with them now having enough food that they think they don't have to go back to town or if those dungeons are actually full and can't support the prisoners. So most prisoners captured are going to be held in the parties. Now, this does open up an opportunity for you because if you do defeat a lord and you release those prisoners, you will gain relation and charm from all those prisoners released. So it is a good slash bad issue there. You can also respec your perks for you and for any member of your party. Just go ahead and talk to the arena master and you will have to pay a fee, but you can respec any perks that you have as long as they've reached a certain level. I'm not sure if it's at least level 25 perks or 50. However, you can respec points. And for the most part, that is what is going on in 1.8. I know this video ran just a bit longer, but I kind of didn't want to bring you all the bullet points that are going on currently right now. And I know I missed quite a bit, but I do want to keep this nice and short for you. So if you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up in the comments or in my Discord. I will be on all night tonight working on the workshop video for tonight and then the caravan video, hopefully for Sunday. I hope you all enjoy 1.8. As always, my friends, take care and thanks for watching.